Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, so we're still talking about that brilliant song from uh, the band Disturbed called Indestructible. Um, it's one of those songs, it, it's grabbed me, it's touched me. It, 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 every time I listen to it, it makes me feel something and it makes me think and it makes me makes me want to do, you know, it makes me want to, it makes me want to work. It makes me want to do the things that I'm supposed to do. It makes me want to do the things that I'm called to do. And today, what we're going to talk about in particular is the chorus. My name is Ed Trevers. Uh, I'm an Anglican minister in the Diocese of Nova Scotia in Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the beautiful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia, in the awesome parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. And we're going to talk about one of my absolute favorite lines from this song. And the, the line goes something like, From the other side a terror to behold. Annihilation will be unavoidable. It's, it's, the, it's the last half, or it's the middle section of, of the chorus. And man, I think this was the line that made me love this song. Uh, the first time I heard it. This was the line that, that kind of shook me out of whatever it, what I, whatever it was that I was doing and, and, and grabbed my attention. A terror to behold. I have become a terror to behold. From the other side, a terror to behold. Annihilation will be unavoidable. From the other side, a terror to behold. Now, I'm not entirely certain why that lyric grabs me. But I think it has something to do with, I think it has something to do with coming to a place in my life where I finally understood exactly what was going on in my life up until that point. See, I, I do believe, I do believe that there is an enemy out there that, that wants to, that wants to destroy us. I can hear a muffler going in the background. I do believe that there's an enemy out there that wants to destroy us. I, I believe that there's an enemy out there that, that wants to oppress us, that wants to keep us down, that wants to keep us from becoming the person that we could be, from, from becoming the community that we could be. I think this enemy wants to, wants to oppress us, wants to suppress us so that, so that we don't know the truth of who we really are. In order to do that, that enemy, it counts on some pretty diabolical, some, some pretty sinister methods. And those methods, they don't get started from the outside. They get started from the inside. And, and those things are, are uh, you know, that, that voice that tells you you're not good enough. That, that idea that you're going to fail. It's, it's that voice that that tells you you're unworthy, that you're not special. This is the way the enemy gets to us. And because if it can continually repeat that to us, then we begin to believe it. And if we get, begin to believe it, then we start living that way. And if we start living that way, then we stop living the way that God has intended for us. We stop living the way that we are built and designed to live. We start living a life that is less than what we deserve. When I first heard those words, from the other side a terror to behold, that idea that my opponents, the people I'm up against, uh, that the things that I'm up against, my enemy that is on the other side, that that enemy will be terrified when they see me coming. That gave me... That gave me something. That gave me, that gave me an idea that I can be dangerous. That gave me an idea that my, just my sheer existence, if I choose to take up the mission, if I choose to take up the call, if I choose to take on the battle of improving who I am, of, of ridding myself of these demons, of ridding myself of these, this, this enemy's lies, then I can take up the battle of making my community a better place. And as I, as I shed those demons from me and I can start working on, on helping my community grow and prosper and become abundant, become a place of, of peace, become a place of, uh, to become a place that's thriving, to become a place that is casting out its own demons where, where the people, my neighbors, my friends all around me, 
that they're improving their lives, that their lives are improving. I realized my enemy would be absolutely terrified of a movement like that because it would know it has lost all control. Now, I don't know how you feel about this. I know that having a priest talk about, talk about battle, talk about war, talk about an enemy, talk about, about conflict, it's, it's not necessarily something that you might hear every day. And, and quite honestly, I'm not, it's not something I hear every day. But it is what I think about when I, when, I, when I think about this line. From the other side, I'm a terror to behold. And you know what? That's what I want to be. That's what I want to be. I want to be a terror to those that stand opposed to, to our call in this world, to make this world a better place. I want to be perceived as a terror to my enemy that thinks they can keep me down. I want to be perceived to the enemy that thinks they can keep my community down. When they see me coming, I want them to quake. When they see me coming, I want them to, I want them to scurry. I want them to know that if they stand their ground against me, they will be beaten. This is the kind of thing that I want to invite everybody to. I want you to join me in this. Again, I don't, I don't know what your theology is. I don't know what your, what your faith may be. But I want you to join me in this call. It's time for us to make our world better. We don't have to go to war. We don't have to be violent. We don't have to be violent at all. To make our community better is not going to require us to harm anybody. It's just a matter of dreaming. And then it's a matter of giving. So join me in this. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you agree with me, fantastic. If you disagree with me, that's all right, too. I'd, be, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Until next week when we talk about the song again, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And may you know the peace of being in God's presence. And, and I pray. I pray that if there's an enemy out there that is trying to keep you down, that soon... It will look at you as though you are terrifying. Amen.